We're on to day 15 already of the animation challenge. Let's get started. There's just so many fun ways that we can animate text inside Canva. And this is a really cute wiggle text effect I want to show you. We're going to take advantage of some of the animations that are inside the effects, but also the create an animation effect as well, because you can get a bit more leeway with that one. So first of all, as always, stand off the blank page. This is 1080 by 1920, which is the video landscape format. And I'm just going to type in some text. I'm going to type these in two separate text boxes and this is just so we can manipulate and animate them individually. I'm going to change the font to Tang Songbird just because it's quite a cute one. And I'm just going to add a little textured paper background just so it's not on a plain blank screen. Let's go with this one here. Now, at the moment, the word wiggle is all one text box, but we are going to have to make them individual letters just so we can manipulate the letters individually. So if we just copy text box and delete, so it's just a W that's left, and then we'll do that for every single letter. And the same for text. Now I'm just going to censor these for a second. What then I'm going to do is I'm going to break up the text and place it in just different positions around the page. And then I'm just going to grab and rotate them slightly so they're all different angles from each other. Just so it's completely sporadic. And then we're going to drag and select all the letters and go up to animate. And we're going to scroll down and use one of the motion effects. We are going to use the wiggle effect. And you can see when I hold the mouse over the wiggle, you can see all the letters moving about individually. So I'm just going to select that one. We can intensify it so we move really quite fast or we can slow it down and give them a slower wiggle. I'm just going to keep it roughly in the middle. I'm going to reduce down the time frame. So it's just animating for about one and a half seconds. I'm going to click the three wee dots and duplicate the page. With this one, I just want to remove the wiggle effect. So if I go back up to the animations, select the wiggle and clear all the animations at the one time. And this is going to be a really super quick slide. It's really just a quick transition so that it stops the wiggle movement before it moves into the next frame because we're going to add a transition between the frames. So if I now duplicate that page, have this one last about a second, and this is where we need to move everything back into place. You can use the guide with the degrees and once it's back to zero, you know that it's completely straight. Then we're going to use our red guidelines to align everything back in place and we'll grab them all together and just make sure they're placed directly in the middle of the page and this time we need to add a transition between the pages so that we get that movement of all the letters coming back into alignment so we're going to add the match and move and this is so you can see that we have all the text all moving back into place and again i'm just going to increase the length so that we can increase the duration and have a bit of a slower transition so the letters don't move quite so fast. If I play that now, you can see that's all moved back into place. Now did you see I moved the two letter G's around and I did that because beforehand when they were transitioning they were kind of crossing over each other and blurring in and out and that's because they were swapping the order so I've now moved those two around so we get that solid letter moving back into place and it doesn't blur over the top of each other. We'll then duplicate this page again and this time we're going to use a create an animation to have the letters all move down off the page one by one and we are going to go to effects so click on our first letter we'll go up to animate and create an animation and this time you'll see it's only the w that is highlighted and we want it to fall off a perfectly straight line so we have to hold down our shift button and you'll see the blue line as it moves down 
So we're going to drag it down in a perfectly straight line and I'll need to hold down the shift button so that we can get that straight line. You'll see the purple line as it's drawn off and you'll see because I have dragged that at different paces it goes fast and then slows down and we can fix that by asking it to go steadily and you can see it now falls at the right pace but it's too slow. So this time all we want to do is speed it up so it's falling a bit faster. Then we'll click done and we need to repeat that for all of them. And you can see already the I is falling slightly slower than the W. And I'm trying to keep them all at the same kind of speed as each other. And we're now starting to build up that really lovely subtle effect where they're all falling slightly slower than the other. And then the last letter. So the E is falling slightly quicker than the L. So if I go back to the L and then maybe slow it down, I actually need to speed it up. So now play this from the beginning have the wiggle text at the start, all comes back into alignment and then one by one each letter falls off the bottom of the page. And you can see how we can just really easily start to build up really nice movement and animation techniques. Instead of using the words all in single text boxes, if we break them up into individual letters we can then create a really nice effect. And if you want to do something with the text, we can animate this in a different way. We, ask, we can go to clarify and on exit we can get it to disappear. So if I now play this from the start, we have the wiggle effect and it moves back into alignment. The first word falls off and then the last one just disappears. And you can see how instead of having it animate a word at a time, if we break it down into individual letters, and there's much more we can do with animation techniques as well. It doesn't always have to be whole sentences and whole words at a time. Think about how you can break up the animation techniques into individual letters to form a really nice design.